now I am going to show a demo how to send and receive data from and uh, send to driver from application so in this driver I have added a new function this is function control operation whose from address I am I sending to the major function and in this device I will control so technically it means from application you have to send a IO control code now let us see how to write IO control code in Windows driver so here if you see I have written two one is send and one is receive so here I have to give one number which should be unique and uh, for both it should be different and then it is for write data and this is for read data so once it is done in this function definition again the function prototype will be same as before and uh, since actually this I'm not going to use because I have the uh, global so I will make it on reference now I'll take the uh, IU stack location and then from IU stack location I'll get the buffer so this will be used when uh, I mean this is the system buffer which is in the driver so whatever the data comes from the application will get copied here so from this buffer actually if they are sending the data then actually we will receive here okay now uh, actually this is the input in buffer i mean input buffer length and this is the output buffer length now when actually uh, the application will send the data the data uh, will be received uh, in the I mean will be received in this buffer which is I already mentioned and we can display the same thing in the similar way if I want to send the data from driver to the application then actually I have created another buffer demo so now what I am doing actually in this buffer this is system buffer through which actually it will go to the application so I'll copy the same data into this buffer and then I will um, up update this information with uh, return length the length of the buffer and I will send this information back now in application how we are going to handle the data so if you see here um, basically this dialog box this dialog bo box if you see uh, so I created two buttons I just shifted the position of it nothing else so these two buttons I created send data and receive data and in send data I have written some code so in this code basically this message I am going to pass and then I will use this device I control API and this particular uh, now nah, device send uh, IU code so IU code I have to mention here also so that it has access to, to it here ok and it should be same in the driver as well as in the application okay. and uh, then we will send actually the buffer with all the appropriate parameters like message length of the message and then what data we are getting from the application and if not successful it is error if successful it will show the return to now now uh, if 
I want to receive the data then I'll simply call this one this is the message this is the buffer I'm passing here so that the data will get filled here okay simple. now I'll build it as I already said before also the code will be available you can unzip and you can directly use it Now, if you see the build is successful, again as discussed before, I will open the voice loader, in admin mode. I'll choose the driver. This is a debug view. If you do exclude here, now then actually the masses related with this will not be shown. In my case, it was creating a huge um, loss and that was really terrible for me. So I removed it completely. Now this is the driver. Now the first thing is we have to register the service. It is registered. Then start the service. Now why you are not seeing the message because it is not open with uh, admin mode. So let me open again. So run as administrator. Now I will unregister. I will stop the service first. Then unregister. and then start the service so you can see the message is coming next now what we have to do we have to open the application as you know we have to run in administrator mode the message now I'll open so create request as you can see, you know already then close so close now again I'll open it so open is success then I'll send the data so you can see the send data is data from MFC Comfort. so if you look at the code here you can see this message is printing Success. right now what you should receive now you should receive 
the data what we are sending from the driver. So what we should receive, we should receive this data now, sample data from return from driver. Now I'll run the application and I'll do receive. So I'll let receive and sample data return from driver. And I'll close it and I'll press OK. So as you can see, this is the demo of how to send data to driver and how to receive. In next videos, I will discuss about the uh, extended version or extended IO control pool and filter drivers. Thank you so much. And uh, you know how to stop the service and then unregister. This is important.